it was my first experience with it as well. I've I'm been used to coming up with a weird idea, working on it, developing it, writing it, and then trying to find a producer to take it to the network. And this was one where, uh, I guess, Orlando's good at what he does. And as a producer, just he um, saw the space in the market for a political sort of show. Um, so he got it across the line um, and then uh, contacted me and Kent Briggs, my co-director. So there's two of us writing and directing um, basically as one unit. Once we were greenlit, then we ran a writer's room and that's, I personally feel like I'm a better writer when I'm working with other people, but just I come alive and bounce stuff off. And I think that goes for this, uh, other people as well. Um, and it's just a space to, sure, we know what the setup is. We know what we want to do with the ending maybe. Um, but then it's just a matter of like, what happens is the episode three act cliff where before you go to commercial, like what is going to be the interesting thing that goes there? How do we work up to it? So it's kind of breaking the story is what it's called. So each episode, episode one, two, three, four, five, six, what is the arc across? What is each episode about? What is each act about? What are the cliffs we're working up to? Are those interesting? Are we repeating beats? Um, is X character doing anything in this episode? Um, so, so there is a really is a formula here that you need to ha keep in mind when you're putting something like this together. Yeah, somewhat. Um, I guess for me, it's not a formula. It's just uh, having a structure. I think makes keeps it interesting. And like, if you don't have a structure, then you'll just be watching something and be like, yeah. what's going on. So what, tell what me, happened? tell me about the tell me about the premise. There's the tell us a little bit about the show yeah. and what it's all about. So uh, the show is about Tom Sainsbury's character, Darren Bellows. Um, he is a fringe candidate for a fringe party called the Conservative Unity Party, the Cup Party. So Darren is in the first episode, you find out it's not a spoiler or anything. The show is about him being blackmailed with a sexual video of him with um, his dominatrix. <laughs> I can say that. Right. Um, so uh, it's for me, I guess one of the other things about being in the writer's room was um, we had that pitch, but then in the writer's room, talking it through, you find what do I actually care about in the story? Um, what do we want to say with it? Thematics and all that sort of stuff. So finding like, ah, for me, this is a story about repression, self-repression, um, overcoming uh, backwards programming that you have um, and how that affects everyone around you and all that sort of stuff. I imagine people will assume this is actually quite a glamorous um, process that you go through, but I would imagine the things that happen that we don't see that perhaps make it not so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Or, 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 or maybe ridiculous events or uh, um, things that can happen in the process that... Um, I'd say probably the least glamorous thing to know, uh, particularly for broadcasting school students, is um, I've been writing and directing my own shorts and stuff for about a decade, um, all with no money to small amounts of money that is, doesn't cover it, and I still have to cover all the time and everything else on top of that um, catering. Um, so it, it definitely doesn't just fall in your lap. Um, so as far as like getting to this point, um, it's still very, it, is, it was a little out of the blue. Um, <laughs> I, I, did, I don't know how to say, uh, how to get a show other than find someone awesome like Orlando who trust, trust you. But I guess um, as far as like how to get the show, the only advice I can give is really that the epiphany I came to through this is that um, none of those, making all those films got me to the point where I know what I'm doing. So my craft has gotten to the point where I can handle a show um, and self-confidence that when I'm on set, I don't freak out. Um, but then the other side of it that I hadn't realized until now was that it's also building people's trust in me outside of me uh, to the point where Orlando was the EP on my short film, Repugnant. Um, and uh, that the difference was that that process gave him the trust to vouch his own career on me. Because it's not, 
getting a show isn't just like, do I deserve it? And do they think it'll be a good show? Uh, everyone who's joining me on this and every, the commissioner, the network the producer, the cast, everyone is kind of good, has to go through like, oh, if this is a bomb, I'm also going to be online. So do I trust this person enough? 